What's up, big time gang? This eight slot dive case is filled with seven of my chaoses, which is all I own. But uh, I can't wait to show them to you guys. Um, these are magnificent pieces, something I slept on for years, and I'm very happy that I started collecting them now. Um, as you can see, I have my little label here. It says chaos. Um, there's one oddball in here, and I'm going to leave it in there so you'll see it. But um, seven chaos, and they're all unique. They're all pretty. Um, great pieces. The comfort is uh, great. So that's why I'm uh, definitely collecting them is because of the look, but the comfort is there as well. So if you're interested in seeing my collection of chaos pieces, please stay tuned. So, welcome back to another Tommy Big Time video. I like to, uh, uh, you know, do my little collection series and, and show you guys updates and stuff like that. And trying to do a full collection video is pretty hard as my collection is, has grown and is pretty large. Um, so, I like doing little segments like this where I'm doing um, one particular style and, you know, featuring it. And showing you the different variations I own of the same watch. So um, this one is no different. These are the Chaos pieces I own. I don't want to drop any. So we've got Graffiti, Combat, Blue Label. And then we got the San 6 Ice Style Edition. Then we've got the Meteorite Auto, the Pepsi Bezel Auto, the Rose Gold Bezel Auto. And then the JT um, Silver and Black. So uh, definitely all different. Uh, very unique. Um, there's not one that I would say um, is much better than the other. Although the Meteorite is by far my favorite. Because this is my first Meteorite watch. And I'll pull that one out of the case and show you guys. Uh, first Meteorite. This was thanks to David Rennick. Thank you, brother. Um, I was super stoked to get this piece. This was my first Auto Chaos, my first Meteorite, um, and in all my collection, I've never owned a Meteorite to this watch. So quite a big deal, for me at least. And uh, uh, my buddy Michael Carson polished it back up for me, got it back to brand new looking. Uh, much appreciated to you also, brother. But uh, this one was like my uh, holy grail of Chaos. This was one that I really, really, really wanted. So uh, very happy when I got this one. And then... I don't own anything that has the Pepsi bezel besides this chaos and I really wanted it and I'm a sucker for white mother of pearl and black mother of pearl or just you know platinum I like all the mother of pearls actually but uh, uh, Carmen hooked me up with this one I couldn't pass it up I had to go for it so I got this bad boy and then uh, I put out there to my uh, my group world that I was looking for um, this one and Carmen hit me up again and said, I got that one too. You want it? It's yours. So I got this one for her as well. And so these are my three autos. And then um, I just acquired this one from Andrew Foster. Just got this one here. Um, beautiful piece. Brand new, still mummy wrapped. And I'm not sure when this video is going to drop, either before or after I do the sizing and unwrapping of this watch. If you've seen it, cool. If you haven't, it's coming soon. Um... Then the graffiti, the watch that I was denied once by Invicta stores and the second time was a charm and I got this piece. So as you know, I wear black shirts 90% of the time. I am very dark colored, um, very basic colors. I don't wear shirts with vibrant designs or anything like that. So this is way out of my norm, but everybody and their mom was getting graffitis and I wanted to be on that bandwagon. So, uh, I uh, bought this watch on Invicta Stores for whatever reason. My my order got canceled. I was bummed. And then it came back up again. And um, the price was right. I bought it again. And this time it went through. And obviously now I have it. So I was very pleased to see that this is a reserve as well. So it's a reserve. Um, beautiful piece. It's different than anything else I own. Then uh, Rick Cathy hooked me up with this one. Combat, this is my uh, most beat up chaos. It's got a nice little chip in the crystal. 
but uh, I'll learn to live with it. My OCD shouldn't kill me too bad on it. But this is a beautiful, beautiful JT limited edition. Uh, they got that gunmetal dial, matte black and uh, uh, gloss black finish. Very good looking piece. And then last but not least is the blue label. Um, all of you that know the blue label collections, they're, they're beautiful watches. Um, this one and my blue label Magnum are by far like my two favorites. They look great. So, uh, I converted my, my Magnum, if you've seen the video, to have the gold accent on the, uh, the bar that holds the bracelet to the lugs. I made mine gold as well because it was blue. It was all blue. And I love the way this looks with the gold accents there. So I copied the chaos design and put that on my Magnum as well. But a reserve label Magnum, beautiful watch. So I'm gonna bring the camera over here so that you guys can see them close up and uh, do a little more talking about them. But one thing I wanted to mention is with the uh, new auto chaoses, these are a Ronda R150. And correct me if I'm wrong, but this is how I understand it, that this is Ronda's first automatic movement. 25 jewel automatic movement, um, definitely, you know, in the same caliber range as a SW200 from Salida. Um, I believe 100%, 99% sure that this is the first auto um, from Ronda. You know, Ronda has an 8040N quartz, which is my favorite uh, quartz movement. And um, now they've, they've ventured into autos and they're killing it. So uh, the three auto chaoses that I have all have the same movement, which is the R150 by Ronda. And uh, great movement, 25 joule, just in the, in the same category as the SW200 from Salida. And just an awesome movement. So anyway, I thought I'd kick that fun fact at you guys. Um, we'll flip the camera over here and we'll continue on. If you're shopping for a watch, make sure to check out Georgia Mountain Watches. Link will be in the description. So here they are in all their spectacularness. So, like I was talking about the autos, these are the three autos here. The Meteorite, the Pepsi Bezel, the Rose Gold Bezel. Then we've got the JT here, JT Combat up here, then the uh, Graffiti, and the Blue Label. So the Chaos is a 50 millimeter watch. Um, I believe it's 16 millimeters thick. Um, very, very comfortable, and my main attraction to the watch is the bracelet. So you just look at that bracelet there. Look at that design. Wide and chunky at the top. Tapers down towards under your wrist. It's nice and thin so that it's still comfortable, but where it matters the most is the photo opportunity. It's a nice, wide, as wide as a lug bracelet, and then it tapers. Then it's got the three bolts that are um, either accented in different colors or the same as the actual watch. But like you see here with the gold, you got the three bolts. You got to hit the rose gold here. This JT, you've got the black, got the black three, but then like this one here, they're all the same. They're all just high polished. But um, that bracelet just kills the game, man. There's a, a lot of watches that I like just because of the bracelet. And this is definitely one of those that puts it over the top and makes it a, a piece that I love because of the bracelet. So I'm always on out looking for my next chaos. Um, I'm not really sure what I wanted next. I really wanted the um, rose gold meteorite as well. But um, unless I get that for an amazing deal or a trade, it's not going to happen. I already have one. I already have the rose gold. So it would really be like a duplicate almost if I did get another one. But um, I'm definitely looking for the last one to fill up the case. As we see here, we have the Sans 6 Pave dial in the uh, eighth slot just to fill that slot up. But uh, definitely, definitely, definitely love these pieces. And uh, I can't say enough about them. They're just great. So if you're uh, considering getting a Chaos, you haven't owned one yet, and you're a big watch lover, you know, you wear Sea Hunters, Grand Octanes, and new Shack watches, um, this one is definitely going to be something that's going to be smaller on your wrist, but uh, it's got a big presence. So it looks great. Um, I enjoy it. Um, besides that, I mean, there's not much more to say, but um, I, I really enjoy my collection. They're beautiful watches. I've got a lot of questions about the graffiti and uh, scratches and stuff like that. 
Um, I've only worn this watch once. It's pristine, brand new. So as far as scratches wise, I have not scratched it. And I hope I don't. But if I do, I will give you an update and let you know whether the stainless steel is showing through or how that, you know, went down. But uh, everybody's asking about, you know, if that watch scratches, what happens? And uh, I imagine the, the hydro plating will, you know, come off and you'll see stainless steel. But until that happens, I don't know. And I'm not going to scratch it on purpose. Sorry if you were expecting that. But it's not going to happen. So anyway, this is a recap of the beautiful chaos. Stay tuned. I'll do a little photo shoot real quick with, with each one, a little close up, maybe like two shots, maybe, you know, three. I'll do two shots of the watch and one of the case back. Put some music by myself, TBT. Uh, make sure you're sharing with your friends. Smash that subscribe button. Watching the video is an entirety. Um, I can't stress that enough. You know, I put a lot of time into these. And if you enjoy the video, watch the whole video. Do me that favor. But anyways, have a great day. And as always, God bless.